Uh, what is actually going on behind me is uh, a state of confusion. That's what's really. Uh, actually, I'm trying to carve a goalie, a hockey goalie. It will be a portrait of Ken Drynan in Team Canada jersey, and I hope that i be able to even airbrush it and make him red, white, black. Uh. <laughs> hey. uh, I'm a little behind, but I'll catch up. Today, I'm gonna finish the top. I like to go top to bottom, and also that way I don't have to get back up on this freaking scaffolding again. Well, you know, in order to nail a piece, you have to have proper references. Now, Ken Tynan's carving beside me, and uh, I, I really, you know, he's a shy guy. And uh, so since he's such a shy guy, uh, I didn't want to go and ask him, hey Ken, can you carve with your shirt off so that while I'm carving I can go ahead and, you know, just nail this belly? Because he's got a good round one. I just like watching the people over the fence enjoy watching this art form take place because it is relatively new and just to see the people come into our community in such a positive manner and see this and with so much enthusiasm and wow what an event for Chetwin to put on uh, these guys are coming from all over the world they love coming here we love uh, putting the event on and sharing it with our community in the region really she's from Lethbridge ah. I'm from Grand Prairie I work for Canal BC we're from Highland California it's about 50 miles east of Los Angeles I'm from Key West, Florida. We came and saw the carvings last fall and she came up so we could come out and see the start from it. We just seen it on, on the internet so we thought we'd have a look. We love passing through Canada. Everybody's very friendly here. They, they like to see the Americans, I hope. <laughs> It's interesting because as the time goes progressively, goes on and on, um, we get more inspired by everybody else's carving. And uh, so by the end of the weekend, we've got everybody else's carving all tied together. I mean, everybody has such a different style here. Uh, you know, Ken Braun, Chris Fultz, they, they see things differently than I do. And so I've got a real appreciation for that. And it just gets me fired up seeing somebody that's kind of carving from their heart, I'd have to say. You know, doing what comes naturally to them, not trying to necessarily um, uh, mold themselves in somebody else's style. And so I like to wa walk around and just see how guys go about it and how they do it. And I can't always, I can't always apply what they do to my style, but it still gets me pretty fired up just to see it develop. Uh, my name is Brooke and this is a, a a carving about a bit of a bear and an eagle and what I like about it is that like is that like it, it the carving actually looks real and like the bear actually looks real and the eagle looks real well I think Steve's doing a really good job I like the idea because it's kind of different of what he usually does because he's had experience doing a dragon and a castle but um, I think he's going to do really well, and um, yeah, it's going really great. Uh, and my mom helps him because she, she's um, because she likes helping him. And whenever Dad do, doesn't have doesn't have any chores for her, um, 
she 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 hangs out with me and my dad just carves. He's my dad and he's amazing. I would never have I would never have had any more any an amazing life because of him. Because of him, I'm a better person and I can become what I want to be. And so I just wanted to thank Steve for um, teaching, um, doing all his cool curvings. He's inspired me a lot. I want to be a chainsaw carver when I grow up.